Hi everyone, uh, today's class we are going to take a look at one of the problems that we had earlier solved in one of my earlier videos. The only difference is that we solved that problem using model method. So based on a request from one of our viewers, I'm going to solve the same problem using algebra method right now. Let's take a look at the question quickly. If eight boys left the classroom, there would be two over three as many boys as girls in the classroom. That's first condition. If eight girls left the classroom, the number of boys in the classroom would be twice the number of girls left in the class. How many boys are there in the class and how many girls are there in the class? Now assuming I'm just Tutorially uh, showing uh, a classroom here, some boys and some girls. We don't know the number of boys and girls here. Now the first statement says, if eight boys left the classroom. Now before we start, what we can actually do is make some assumptions here. Let the number of boys right, be represented by or x represent the number of boys. Then, what about the number of girls? Let y represent the number of girls. Once we have done this basic assumption, let's go back and revisit the condition number one. If eight boys left the classroom, then they're talking about the relationship between the boys and girls in the classroom after eight boys have left the classroom. So here again, let's assume that if uh, the number of boys here, we have assumed it to be X. And the number of girls, we have assumed it to be Y. So what happens when the eight boys have left the classroom? So what will be the number of boys in the classroom? That would be X minus 8. Right? And the girls, nobody left the classroom, so they still remain to be Y. So this is our first situation. I'll just mark it as 1. And so using this, now the relationship is there would be two-third as many boys as girls in the classroom. This sentence is the same as saying the number of boys is equal to two-thirds the number of girls in the classroom. So the number of boys left in the classroom is x minus 8. And that is equal to two-thirds of the number of girls, which is y. Now let's, uh, in algebraic equations, to simplify it, we can actually cross multiply 3 to this side. So that would become 3 times x minus 8 equals to y. And we know that when we multiply, we have to multiply 3 to both x and 8. 3 times x will give you 3x minus 3 times 8 gives you 24 equals to y. So this is our first condition or first equation. Right? Let's go and check the next part, next uh, condition there. If 8 girls left the classroom, now I'm going to mark it with something else. So if 8 girls left the classroom, the number of girls left in the classroom would be y minus 8. The number of boys in the classroom will be twice the number of girls left in the class. There is no change in the number of boys because nobody left and the only change is in the number of girls. So for this will become our second condition and the equation for this is going to be boys is equal to 
twice the number of curls left. Number of curls left is y minus 8. And so x is equal to 2 times y minus 2 times 8, 16. And let me bring this over to this side. x plus 16 would be equal to 2y. So this is our second equation. Now when we compare these two equations, we see that 2y here is equal to 3x minus 24 and 2y is equal to x plus 16. It clearly shows that the left hand side here should be equal to the left hand side here. So let's go ahead and uh, write that down. So 3x minus 24 equals 2y here and we know that 2y is equal to x plus 16. So this will become x plus 16 and in solving this we will bring the x terms to one side. So 3x minus x because it's positive here it, when it once it comes here it becomes negative and here this side is equal to 16 plus 24 which is 40 and this is 2x. So 2x equals 40 which means x is equal to 20. So that is the uh, number of boys. So x is equal to 20 gives the number of boys. So I can write down here as a separate statement here of boys twenty. Now what we are going to do is substitute this value of x in uh, one of the equations. Let's say substitute value of x in let's say equation one or this seems to be easier for me, so I will choose equation 2. So, x plus 16 equals 2y. We know that x is 20 plus 16 equals 2y. So, 20 plus 16 is 36 equals 2y, which means y is equal to 36 divided by 2, which is that is our number of girls in the class. So let's go back and write that down as well. So number of girls equals 18. Hope this was uh, easy to understand. And this is how we solve this problem using algebraic method. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put down them or jot them down in the comments section. So remember to share this with your friends. Uh, if you have more questions, post them in the comments section and do remember to like the video if you liked it and share and also subscribe to my channel. Remember to click on the bell icon if you would like to receive more uh, videos from me. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.